Hello guys, it's me Lego Master 627 and welcome back to Legos Island. It is Friday, November 3rd, 2023. And as you can see, Legos Island Halloween 2023 is gone. So, to be quite honest, I'm going to be actually completely honest and real here. I started this a night ahead of time. Right after that Legos Island episode for the Haunted Island Aftermath. I already started cleaning up a night ahead of time because I knew for a fact it was going to take me the whole day. And I'm going to be also completely honest, I am very glad I did change the end date to November 3rd rather than November 1st. Because boy, I did need to dedicate this whole day to cleaning it up. Wow! There was a lot to clean up. So I'm glad I changed the end date to November 3rd. This worked out way better in my favor. So, yeah, I'm going to be quite honest. Changing it from November 1st to November 3rd was definitely the better move. Because, boy, I needed this whole day to clean it up. Oh, and good news. The backyard uh, Halloween party has gone, too. Uh, that only took, like, I want to say 15 minutes. Uh, this one, uh, I want to say it took a good, I don't know, probably nine hours. If we don't count the night ahead of time. Make that 10 hours if we count that night ahead of time, because I only worked on it for like one hour. So, technically, if you combine both, make that like 10 hours. Impressive, right? Yeah, I started doing this for like 10 hours. Impressive, right? I know. Anyway, so the island is back to normal until Friday, November 10th for the five-year anniversary of the campsite, which is also the five-year anniversary of Camp Island. So look out for that in a week. There is no mini-event uh, for November 3rd this year to celebrate the six-year anniversary of Legos Island's return and the four-year anniversary of Operation Legos Island, as this was the day that Legos Island Halloween was getting cleaned up. So it didn't make any sense. And it will actually be returning in exactly one year for five years of Operation Legos Island. So please look out for that in a year's time. If any of you remember, alongside myself that is. Definitely got to remember myself because, yeah, I'm the one who has to make it in a year. Until you realize that next year's a leap year. Oh well. Either way. Let's go get some dogs, because, hey, why not? Actually, we do that every episode unless I forget. But it is very rare that I forget. Who do we get today? Yeah, I'm about to take a guess. Yeah, the other one fell down here. Who do we got? We got Cutie and Cake. We already got Cutie in the last episode, but Cake is fine. Let's see who else we get. Let's do the top dispenser. Eh, uh, we'll take Justin. All right, we got Justin, and Cake isn't even here. But don't worry, I respond her. You know, I should probably do that for the other guys, like Judy, for example, as you can see right here. Yeah, it kinda went into flames while uh, cleaning up the Haunted Mansion in there, so... Actually, wait a second, Never mind. Sorry, correction, it was actually the campsite. Never mind. Yeah, there we go, now I got it right. Anyway... So, yeah, six years since my official return to Legos Island, full time. Yeah, this day is way more important than you may think, because if I didn't return on just at all, this island would have never continued this far. Yeah, just once again, think about that. If I never returned, this island would never have been as big, or more importantly, would not have been as cool as it was now. Like, basically everything that I made here was made after the return, so this is very important. And as for Operation Legos Island's fourth anniversary, the fact that we've gone four years with this event, but five of them in total in the span of four years, that's wild, man. And that is genuinely impressive. So, yeah, it's one crazy day. And, um, <clears throat> yeah, I know, absolutely crazy. So, fun fact, the last place I had to undecorate before recording this video was the hotel. 
because I have to take down all the challenges and uh, prove I'm not kidding. If we go into the hotel, as you can see, it has a very similar layout to the Haunted Hotel, but some things from the Big Other 8 uh, series uh, got removed because, well, Rose Kiss was not going to be back for like another 20 days, or actually 19 or 20 days, so... Yeah, we're not doing the season right now, so I personally get to do whatever I want with this room. And, uh, just to clarify real quick, yes, every single challenge has been removed. You're welcome. Just to absolutely clarify that real quick, everything's been removed. Also, just to clarify, there is no new catalog in here yet, but please look forward to the next episode where there will be one. I didn't do it here on November 3rd because the event took forever to clean up and I'm just not up to doing the catalog right now because I'm honestly way too exhausted from cleaning up the event to make the catalog today. So November 4th, there will be a catalog, 100%. So please look out for that because I want to make that its own video as well. Anyway, there's not really anything else I got to say, actually. I'm going to be quite honest. Well, I guess what I could do is respawn the villagers because there's a few of them that uh, uh, aren't in here. So I'm going to do that uh, so Is there one in the library? Yes, there is. Okay, what about the coffee shop? No, there isn't. Okay, there we go. But yeah, all the rooms are back. Yep, the haunted island thing is completely gone. Evil Cluck is uh, gone entirely. And uh, speaking of which, it's actually quite a coincidence that I mention Evil Cluck because, as you can see, he is in the HQ cage. I know, this thing doesn't even get used much. But Cool Dad Freddy Free asked me to do that, and I can't blame him. He's going to be trapped in there for a good while. Probably until the beginning of next year. Actually, correction. Make that till Operation Lego's Island 2024. Gotcha, Evil Claw. Yep, he's going to be trapped in there until <clears throat> February 6, 2024. Because that's the next time that he will be attacking. Or you never know, he might break out any earlier than that. But, Cole, we got HU Secretary right here to keep guard on him. Ain't that right, bud? That's right. We're gonna need you, man, to keep an eye on this fool. Because we are not letting him escape. I think this, I think this chicken over here has caused enough damage for one year. And I don't mean just on this island, I mean across the labs as well. So now what? Well, now that the island's back to normal, there's not really much to do, to be quite honest. We just had a mission-based event, and the next one isn't until <clears throat> December. Um, as we saw in the previous episode, which is Operation Freeze 2023. So we got over a month until we got to deal with Master Evil 1 curse freezing the island. Right before Christmas, ironically. So... Yeah, we got that to look forward to. But the real main event we actually got to look forward to this entire month outside of Camp Island is actually the Best Party Awards. I know, I'm finally bringing this event outside of Zola's Lab 2 and 3. Or just the labs in general. The point is, I'm doing this because, well, it kind of actually makes a lot more sense with Lego's Island. Because there's a lot of events that are just absolute masterpieces that, yeah, we'll vote on later in the month, at the end of the month on November 25th. And it's going to be so cool seeing what's going to happen. The island's going to be decked out. Okay, maybe not the entire island, but a good majority of the island will be decked out for this thing. It's going to be very cool. We got, like, hold on. We got 22 days until this, so that's pretty cool. We do got a Thanksgiving mini event uh, two days beforehand. I forgot to add it to the schedule, apparently. Um, so, yeah, we got a lot to look forward to throughout November, and that's super cool. So, I'm just going to wrap up the episode here because, well, that's all I got to say. So, guys, thank you so much for watching this episode of Legos Island. I hope you enjoyed Remember to like and subscribe and look forward to the November 2023 catalog in the next episode on November 4th. And then we'll be back to every two days for hopefully the rest of the month. 
So, until then, I'll see you all in the next episode. Oh.